Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards Wednesday. My name is Michelle Irene, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love coming to you first thing in the morning because you really just never know what you're going to get. But today, I am working with the A Good Man stamp set, and this is what I'm featuring over on my blog all week. Um getting ready for Father's Day, getting ready for anything masculine. I love this stamp set because it's not just about Father's Day. It's just about being a good man, okay? So um, I've been doing some simple stamping this week with this because I really like just the outlines, but today we're going to be doing just a little bit of coloring. But the focus of coffee and cards is really some getting back to basic stamping techniques. So last week we talked about um, building layers with a quarter inch um, borders. And today we're going to talk about eighth inch borders. Now I love to use layers because it makes such a nice frame for your stamping. So today I have a piece of crumb cake and this is just my card base. It measures um, eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. All measurements are gonna be over on my blog this morning at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Now, I have four layers here and this one, the first one starts at five and an eighth. Now I like to, sorry, I was looking at this. So I like to go from five and a half to five and an eighth because it gives a larger border around. And it's kind of hard to see. I didn't plan it this way and I probably should have planned it a little bit better. Sorry about that. Um, you can see there's a 3 8 inch margin all the way around and it just makes a better focal point. If you left just an eighth of an inch around, it would just be, everything would be just too close. Okay, so 5 and an eighth by 3 and 7 eighths, then 5 by 3 and 3 quarters, and then we just subtract down um, for the other two. Now, these will be on the blog. Don't panic. You don't have to write them down and you don't have to do the math. I'll do it for you. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do this morning is just adhere these first two layers to our card. So again, this is the five and an eighth by three and seven eighths and the five by three and three quarters. Now to line it up, you do need to be a little care more careful. And so I just make sure that I have, you know, don't just set it down. I line up one, two corners, look at my third, and then my fourth one should go right down. This is going to go ah, right on my card. And because it's summertime in the south, I do make sure I use enough snail on my projects so that the humidity doesn't pull them off the card. Okay, then these two layers I'm going to adhere. But let's do a little stamping. I have um, a little background stamping today using um, the Beauty of Bounds stamp set. I really like these little dots. So we're going to use those little dots with Pool Party and I'm going to, whoops, wrong ones. I like the little ones better. Okay, so these are the little dots and I'm going to stamp in my Pool Party and I just want a very light background. So I'm going to stamp off first and then just create you know, some random patterns, stamp off. And just a few. I 
let's get that in there. Okay, just a little texture up in the top corner there. Oops. Next, I have my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and my image. Now, these are cling stamps, and you know, this morning I didn't have time to put my stickers on the back. Um, I was in a hurry. Last night I was getting ready for my um, big Super Saturday buy one get one sale, and um, I forgot to make a card for this morning. So I got up and I did it early. Good morning, Michelle. It's good to see you. All right. And then I'm going to put my sentiment right down here in the bottom left. And I'm just going to stamp right on the card. I'm going to make sure that this is going the right direction. Being a good dad starts with being a good man. And isn't that the truth? All right. Now, we can adhere this to this layer. Oh, I'm out of snail. I grabbed one. Oh, here it is. So if you haven't ever changed your snail adhesive, just pull this off. The other cartridge just pops right off and make sure you remove this little cardboard piece and it just snaps together. Okay? Easy as pie. Ah, oh, so much better. And again, be very careful. Put down your top layer. Make sure so I start top left, bottom left, line up top right, and then drop it. And oh, you know what, before we go over here, let's do a little coloring. So I have my Stampin' Blends, and I have light and dark soft suede. And so let's give him some khaki pants. And I'm just going to outline and fill in. And the first time, I'm not real worried about complete coverage because I'm going to come back with my dark and come in and add some shading. So all of those places, Stampin' Up! so awesome with their stamps because... You know, they kind of tell us where that extra shading needs to be. And I'm going to highlight that pocket a little bit. Now come in and smooth out those, those lines. And that adds your, your shading with your alcohol blending there. Nice. Okay. And we'll give Dad... Let's do balmy blue. So I, again, I have the light and the dark. And just come in. Come around. your your shading and then blend your lines I love the blends markers and anytime I'm feeling just a little bit stressed or like I need something more to do I just grab and start coloring it is the best therapy ever. All right, so we can go in and we can continue 
coloring, but I know that some of you have to get to work and this is a quick, quick thing. So let me adhere this to my card. Just like that. And let me show you my finished one that I did this morning, okay? So, as you can see, I just added some more color. Um, Flirty Flamingo and Highland Heather. I used crumb cake on um, the hair of both the little girl and the dad. And then I grabbed my ivory for the skin tone. And then I added a little granny apple green down at the bottom. But there we go. Building a card with basic 8th inch layers. Just makes everything look nice and framed. Again, all of those measurements will be over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com and I really appreciate you popping by um, to see us. There is a, like I said, on Saturday, it's my big buy one, get one free sale over in Pittsburgh. If you can stop by, I'd love to see you. There will be some snacks and some prizes. And if you need a catalog, will you please drop me a line? I'd be happy to send you one. I will see you again Saturday morning right here, 9 o'clock for Crafty Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.